Hey guys, so in this video we'll go over how to uh, work with Visual Studio Code once you have it installed on your system. Uh, so there's really two things you want to worry about here once you have it installed. Uh, firstly, you should just be greeted by this welcome page here. You can close that. And the two main places that we want to look at are the Explorer up here, which is where we see the files that we're working on. But right now we don't have anything open, so let's close that. And the next area is this extensions area down here. So in the extensions area, this is where we install extensions for working with the different programming languages. So for example, if we wanted to work with JavaScript, a good extension is ESLint. And this is a good extension for working with JavaScript and yeah. So let's say you guys wanted to work with Python as well. We can just install, we can search for Python up here. And there's two extensions here you want to install. One is just the Python extension and the second is PyLance. So these two will help you when working with Python. Uh, if you need any other extensions for working with other programming languages, you can just search the name of the programming language and then find an extension for it. Now let's say you're ready to begin working. So we have some files here and we want to open it inside of Visual Studio Code. So there's two ways you can do this. One is by clicking the Explorer up here and clicking on Open Folder. But let's say you had this entire thing closed and you have the folder that you want to work on already opened here and you just want to open these files in Visual Studio. So what you can do is right click here and select Open in Terminal. And then inside of the terminal you just type code and then dot and this will open up the folder and all of the files inside of Visual Studio Code. So on the left here we can see a list of all the files we have and if we click on one of them it will just open it up for editing and obviously inside of the editor we can just like type in whatever we want and save it and stuff and then up here at the top it will show you a list of things you have open. So let's say I open a bunch of these files. Now you can see at the top here we can navigate between them. Also on the left here if we wanted to create a new file for example, there's a new file button up here and a folder button as well. So let's click this new file button and we'll create something called test.html. And that just works, it creates a file here. And if we just type HTML here and select HTML5, uh, this will automatically give us a template here to work with. So yeah, this is basically how Visual Studio Code works. If you guys have any more questions or something, just leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer you. But yeah, I hope this answers all the questions you have for how to use Visual Studio Code.